here I am in all my um, wet hair, drown rat glory. You'll be all right. You'll be all right in a minute. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Nobody panic. Okay, I just hit my foot. <laughs> Stop laughing. Charlotte's there and I'm being laughed at. Right. I think I'm going to do my eyes first, which is why I haven't done my base. I've done my brows and I've got primer on, but I just, I don't know whether these shadows are going to have a lot of fallout, which really is the only annoying thing about fallout. I don't know whether fallout is a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if it means, I don't know if it actually means that the eyeshadow is better to work with or if it has any bearing on the quality, if it's loose and falls out a lot. But for me, the only practical um, reason I look for fallout or I'm aware of it when I'm using a palette for the first time is obviously if I've done my base and then loads of colour falls down my cheeks, that's going to be an issue. So I'm going to do my eyes first before I do any of that. Where's my little thing for my eyes, please, Miss Neve? Oh, there they are. Oh, crap! These are my little saviours. I love these. These are from Primark as well, little eyeshadow covers. Um, these were about, oh, there we go, £1.50 for a pack of oh, 30. I love them. <laughs> Hi, Leonard. Leonard's down here under a blanket. Go to my Instagram if you want to see a picture of him snuggled up under a blanket with a teddy. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. It's the softest thing in the world. Um, but these I find really, really useful because not only do they give me that line without trying, but they also catch any fallout as well because they go onto the cheek a little bit more. Right, let's get these positioned and then we'll get into it. I'm so excited. This will be my look today. Done! Thanks for watching. Bye bye now. And here we witness the mental breakdown of Layla. <laughs> oh, it's been a long week. It's already Tuesday. Hello! There we go! Okay. Let's get into it. I'm sorry. If you do hear chuckling, we have a Charlotte and she just laughs at me all day long. Right, let's get into it. I'm so excited. I need some scissors. Bear with, sorry. Here we go. I'm so excited. Right, this is the eyeshadow palette from the Dusk Collection. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the colour, for a start, is gorgeous. I don't know if anybody's noticed. I do like me a purpley pink magenta kind of situation. <laughs> um, but I just love how it's raised and it's textured and it's just a little bit different and it looks super cool with the rest of my collection which is lovely inside we've got a huge mirror which i do appreciate it's a full size mirror the size of the lid as well which is just i don't know why palettes come without mirrors obviously you need to be looking at your eyes and why do we need to have 15 things in our hands it means you can travel with it it's brilliant so we've got a huge mirror and then we've got 22 gorgeous deep rich shades i am so hopeful that these are going to be really really pigmented because they just look beautiful and beautifully deep and beautifully rich um i love the pinks and the purples this very reminded me of a fenty launch and i can't remember which one it was like even the way that primark kind of launched it and the styling of it on instagram go and have a look um because all the photos are just beautiful of the entire collection it's gorgeous and it, the way they did it it really reminded me of um kind of Moroccan vibes and very kind of Middle East, um, Moroccan women's eyes are just some of the most beautiful in the whole world. Like we started going to Morocco as a family when I was four and just some of my greatest memories are just staring at some of the women because they're just beautiful, those big dark almond eyes. Oh, stunning. Oh, God, just look at, just look at that entire row of purples. Oh. Elixir. Right, what should we do first? I'm too excited. I'm too excited. Oh, actually, something else I can use with it is the brush collection that goes with the Dusk range as well. So we've got five brushes. We've got a powder brush, a foundation brush, a highlighting brush, an eyeshadow brush, and an eyeliner brush. What are you laughing at? Honestly, mocked constantly. You, you, you. What? Your brush. The brush. Did it clap? Brush. <laughs> I'll brush you in a minute. Um, so yes, yeah, so shall we try these brushes at the same time? Marvellous. Let's open these. Yeah. <gasps> right, one minute. Not only is there a cute little purpley blue like iridescent piece of cardboard with it, which does excite me probably more than it should. 
think it'd be well good to like use as a, a background to like mount a picture or something in a frame. <gasps> Bleak that. There's also this flipping makeup bag. Look how cool that is. Oh, I like I mean, the zip could do with what? Sticking to my hair. The zip could do with being a bit bigger so you can actually get in it properly. But oh, it's a little bit see through as well. Oh, that's so cool. Shall I look at that against the light? That's so cool. Elixir. And I'm easily pleased, apparently. Oh, cute. Oh. Um. 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 people will do our best that would be a good lip brush or concealer brush mebs <gasps> don't think it's quite oh under eye shadow situation that is small enough for me to use as an under eye would you lamp i don't know where i'm going with this one i'm just i'm still a bit shook that the end just fell off that brush to be honest right we'll do the rest of the brushes later right so in 2019 my one of my um targets that i've set myself one of my little revolu revolutions <laughs> One of my little resolutions is to just be a little bit braver with my eyeshadow looks. So I'm just going to take this little sponge situation out because it keeps falling out as I keep moving the palette. Um, do keep these because they're really good for like inner corner business. So we'll put that over there. Right. Okay. So most of these shades are shimmer or satin shades. We do have really say this is the really only transition shade because it's more matte possibly this one um this is matte but yeah most of them have got that kind of shimmery satin shift to them which leaks so i'm gonna go in with mm, i'm gonna go in with this one first of all oh in fact tammy oh they do have shade names on the back oh cool right tammy if you watch makeup by tammy has um been talking about a new technique lately um so let's try that one so i'm gonna go for the darker one first so yeah, let's go for this darker shade up here, which is called Dark Matter. Oh, Elixir, Elixir. Okay, good luck, everybody. Not bad, not bad. Not quite packing the punch I was expecting for how dark it looks in here, but I did go in quite lightly, so just be braver. Oh yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's much better. Erica. Right, what do I want to go for now? Obviously, I'm thinking pinks and purples. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, right. Okay. I'm going to go for this shade here, which is called... Which is called Galaxy. I love it. I mean, I like it, but again, it's it's coming out kind of a lot darker than it looks in the pan hmm. and i've got something in my eye it's out of my eye right so i had something in my flipping eye i didn't really like the brown at the end of it so i'm either gonna put less of it on or just wait till the end because it did need a little bit of building anyway so i've gone and cleaned everything off um i've re-primed my eyelids and i've re-put some of these bad boys on so let's just crack on again shall we i'm getting the feeling that a lot of these shades are gonna need building up so let's just do it shall we let's just do it okay so because i've got really small eyes because if you don't know, I'm only five foot and I'm, I'm very teeny tiny. So I'm actually going to try using this one that comes in the set, which is the smaller eye brush. Um, excuse me. Oh, you can wait. Um, so I'm actually going to try using this to place the colour because I feel like it's a bit more densely packed that it might pick up more of the product to just pat on. And then we'll go in and blend after that. Shall we try that? Let's have a go. Let's see what happens. So yeah, it's just not coming out as dark as it looks in the palette. Okay, so I'm going to go in then with this flatter brush for the lid. And I think I'm going to use... Okay, so I'm going to try this one called Nebula. Let's see. Oh, this is a lot better. So again, it might be the, the different brush. I'm just patting that 
with a flatter brush and that seems to be working much much better yeah that's a lot better okay, okay. Woo! we're getting there we're getting there okay so i'm feeling really really drawn to this pink down here which is called mars so let's try and put that in the center Gang, I'm not feeling this palette, and I was so excited. It's just not doing it. The colours just are not popping at all. Right, gang, I don't know what to do. Like, the colours are showing up, but it's so subtle, and there's, like, there's, like, the hint of the most faint kind of purple shift to it, almost duochromatic, but it's not. It's not giving me much, to be honest. It's not giving me that that pop that it looks like it's gonna give it's just that is that what the thing that i'm seeing on here is not translating there like i wanted a really dramatic wow look with this palette and this this collection and it's it's not giving it me um okay okay right well i'll tell you what because i'm struggling for crease colors because there's not really many mattes in here let me just go off camera oh i tell you what i do have I do have a palette from Primark that I was going to do in another testing video, but shall we bundle it into this one and then we can at least get through this eye look because I've got some loose pigments down here that might work. So let's see if we can put down a decent base to then put those onto because this palette is not doing it for me, I'm afraid. We'll get there. We'll get there. Stick with me. Stick with me. Right, so I've taken that lot off and I've gone and found another palette. Now, the palette that I wanted to use, the palette that I just thought of that could maybe give us some like transition shades and some mattes, is the feel. I can't speak. Is the fearless palette that you will have seen on a haul. Now, I'm basically having exactly the same problem. Um, there isn't really. A oh, there's one matte shade, but that's this kind of navy blue shade, which. I don't really want to use as a crease colour or a transition shade in that particular look. Um, or there's this, which technically is a bronzer. Um, but again, isn't going to go with what I want. So the, again, it's a palette of mainly shimmers, which isn't that useful, Primark. So in the end, what I've gone for is the bronze shade and shimmer eyeshadow palette because i feel like it's kind of got a lot more of the tones that are going to go with this palette as well um and i've got a really good selection see this is more like it you need more mattes than shimmers you just do in a palette or at least an equal number of and an a good selection of matte shades to be able to use and create lots and lots of different looks like if you get a palette with 15 colors in but you can only do one or two looks because there's just too many shimmers and nowhere near enough mattes to build a look it's not really working so okay so let's do the let's put down the crease and the transitions and then we'll go in with this one and we'll use some fixing spray to maybe wet the shades and see if they work a bit better that way some shimmers just like a spritz and then the va va voom comes out so let's let's just cross our fingers toes paws whatever send a prayer up to whoever you send prayers up to that'd be great thanks let's crack on <laughs> right so first of all i'm going to pop that into the crease oh do you see that see that is pig a pigmented matte shade okay and then i'm going to go above that with this shade in the corner then i'm going to go through both of those with a little bit of this orangey situation okay so i'm going to try this one which is at solstice so we'll try that one with a flat brush and we'll wet it. We'll see. This is the last thing I'm trying out of this palette because honestly, nobody's got time in the day for this. Yeah, it's barely picked anything up. Little bit of fix it sprue. Okay, the fixing sprue helps. Okay, the fixing spray helps, but it's still not doing it at all there is no depth of color whatsoever there i'm really sorry primark i feel like i'm being miserable but it's not doing it okay let's just move on let's just move on so i do have the um metallic eyeshadow cream i've also got three of the um loose eyeshadow pigments from the same range from the dusk range so i thought what i would do is maybe use this as a bit of a base for one or two of these so let's try that I'm just trying to find a way where I can use as many of the products as possible. <laughs> really? 
Okay, so this one is called, I think it's Moon, yeah, Moonstone. Excuse me, there we go, focus. Um, so we've got this shimmery, sort of pearlized, pinky peachy, light nude colour. Let's just try this. Oh, look at that. It actually blends out really nicely. Right, let me see what this is like just on the back of my hand. Because, not opaque, sorry. I was expecting this to be the one that was really sheer. That's quite nice. That's got a really nice shimmer to it. Okay. There you go. There you go. That one's good. I like that one. Right, so what I wanted to do with that was use it as kind of a base for these pigments. So we've got this, which is um, a kind of true gold colour, really. Um, elixir. This, which is kind of a more dusky purpley pink. And then we've got this one, which is more, if it'll focus, more of a plummy purpley colour, which elixir. Right, so shall we try and do a bit of a, bit of a, what's the word? Bit of a bit of a thing with all three of them um let's go darkest to lightest shall we oh i like this situation so it's got a little lid on it um so you can close it up after and you're not going to get your pigment everywhere a little bit of that in the lid okay here goes so i'm going to put this on the outer oh yes queen finally oh this one showed up for class this morning yes okay now this one's giving me pigment it's giving me shimmer, elixir. I'm gonna put this one in the inner corner and do a bit of a halo eye with the gold, so bear with. Oh, this one's really subtle and pretty. And it's really falling down my face. But it's not gonna do for this look. So I'm just gonna go back to the first one, the darker one, to do so I can do a true halo. Okay, so now onto the goldy one. Love these little lids, that's so clever. god i love that it's like bordering on a lime gold but it's it's such a like true gold color okay so i'm just gonna switch to the other side of my brush and just go and blend all that together a little bit better so while i'm blending <laughs> why what have i done while i'm blending and i'm only blending really gently it's the top of the gold has just come off and it's gone back down to the pinky stuff so it's it's like it's just peeled the top layer off that I've just put down, which is really annoying. Only at the very top of it though, but that's because I've not gone and blended around the like the lower section of it there. <sighs> this is being really, really challenging, I'll be honest. Maybe that's putting the cream eyeshadow underneath, or maybe that's layering the pigments. We didn't really layer them though, we've just put them next to each other really. Right, so it is now time for the face products. So I'm going to get rid of these. Then I'm gonna look at one of the highlighters and then we'll we'll do the base. So bear with. I mean it doesn't look quite so scary now, those are not this muddy bit all over it, but still. Okay, and I've got a lot of fallout under it. <laughs> it's all over my hands. Oh my god, this is so messy. Like I've got weird orange hands. This is eh. Other bits we got were these liquid highlighters. So we've got the um, kind of pinky mauvey one. That's that one there. And then we've got the icy pearlized one. This, these, here we go again. This one. This one is called Moonlight and this one is called Starlight. And I'm thinking I'm going to use this one underneath my foundation just to give that kind of gloss. So let's have a look at that one. So we'll try this one and then I'm going to try um, the other one over the top or maybe as an inner corner or the nose highlight. Um... Ooh, that's got a lovely reflect to it. And goes a long way as well. Mm, it's not massively blinding. Which kind of just, I suppose, depends on your preference, to be honest. But yeah. Okay, let's try that then. Yeah, that goes down to like a sheen more than anything. It just gives me a really nice glow and again, depends on your preference really for highlighters. If you like something a bit more subtle, then this is brilliant. If you like something a bit more blinding, just dry very quickly so 
It dries nicely though. Right, let me just go off and do the rest of my face. So let me just go and do my base, my lashes, my liner. And then we'll come back and test out the other highlighters and um, the lipstick that I got. Okie dokie, so I've done my base. I've got my lashes on. I've kind of got in and tried to diffuse and blend some of the eyeshadow. Um, and to be honest, I've just put a really thick liner over most of it because I'm just not happy with it. One thing, can you see there? That was the liquid highlighter that I put underneath my foundation and it's a cream foundation. Normally, when I put liquid highlighter on, I put it over the top of foundation and I know that some of them can split the foundation, but I've tended to find if you put them on the back of your hand and then dab them on, that works a lot easier. I've never known a liquid highlighter separate my foundation from underneath. Like, it just will not stick to it. So that's gone well again. Um, yeah, I'm finding this one a bit of a struggle, to be honest. <laughs> um, right, what have we got left? So I had another liquid highlighter, but bearing in mind what this one's just done, I'm not holding out a lot of hope, to be honest. Um, I do have two of the powder highlighters though. So I've got this one, which is prismatic and this is like the gold rosy gold kind of pale copper kind of deal and then this one which is called celestial and this is more of your of i say lavender lilac kind of shebang so i think for this look i'm gonna use this one um and just hope that we have more luck can anybody tell i'm not enjoying this try i mean it looks mega reflective oh for god's sake Look how reflective that looks. Can you see where I've put the, the swatch at all? Oh, one of the brushes. Oh, and as well, look what happened. Contour brush from the set. So that's two out of the five brushes have just broken immediately. Right. So this one is the highlighter brush from the set. Primark. Oh God, it won't even go back on properly. Okay, this is the highlighter brush. This is the highlight. Oh. Okay. Mm hmm. Nice little glow going on. Nice, nice little glow action. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, yeah. It's a bit like the liquid. Oh, God, it just blends away, though. It's a bit like the liquid highlight. It just turns just boils down to your preference of highlighter. I like my highlighter to be really like ching, like Tin Man, Pheromone-esque. Um, but I know plenty of people don't. So if you do like a highlighter that's just a bit of a sheen and a bit of a, you know, from within kind of situation, then this is your man. I do like this brush if it would, you know, stay on. Okay, so yeah, no, I mean, nothing bad to report. It just isn't popping like I would personally like a highlighter to be but it does give a really nice sheen I will give it that that is a nice sort of glow from within okay so the last thing I've got to try in this set is one of the lipsticks this was the only shade they had in my Primark which is this kind of focus please madam thank you which is this sort of brownie peachy nude um called supernova okie dokie so we open this up and uh yes one of them situations let's do swatchingtons i've got nowhere else to swatch what about there oh that's nice that goes on super creamy oh it's centered oh quite vanilla -y, i would say but yeah i like that okay i was gonna go in with a lip liner but i don't think i need to for anybody wondering, yes, I have had my lips done again. <laughs> this is the first lipstick on my newest lips. Okay, so that is a really nice lippy, actually. That goes on super smooth, super creamy. The pigment's really nice. As I say, it's just, for me, like, um, yeah, like a peachy brownie nude. A little bit of pink to it, maybe. But yeah, that feels really nice and creamy and sits really well on my lip. Why am I looking so pale on camera? Look at the colour I look in there, Charlotte. Oh, here we go. It says on it, universal lip colour. Um, I wouldn't call it universal. Yeah, I'm not calling that universal. There's no way that would show up on some people. No way. Okay, so that was the whole range apart from that, but we did try one in a different colour. Um, shall I bother giving my thoughts or do we, do we kind of realise where I'm going to go with this? So the Dusk Eyeshadow Palette for a start. Um, okay, 
I did not like um, the eyeshadows at all. They've not gone on as pigmented as they look in the pan. Um, they go on very, very sheer and not quite, just not quite there for me at all. There's no kind of depth to them on the eye. It looks like it in the palette, but not when they go on the eye. I've used different brushes to put them on. I've used different techniques. I've used wet, I've used dry, and they're just not doing it. I mean, on the plus points, it looks really pretty. It's got a huge mirror with it. Um, it would maybe pair up with another palette maybe uh, but for me just the depth of color just isn't there at all the metallic eyeshadow cream i will have a look and see if there's any other colors of that i feel like that on its own would be really really nice as just a bit of a bit of a something there i'm definitely going to take this one on holiday because i feel like it'll just be a really nice glowy glistening healthy bronzed kind of shenanigan going on without needing too many products um so yeah i feel like this one as well would be a really good like inner corner color or just underneath the brow bone like i really like that one um it didn't need a lot of it the consistency was really nice so i like that one the eye pigments i really liked um i would maybe use them just one at a time or use them separately because i felt like when we went to blend um they just blended away really and just muddied into each other um and lost their kind of definition of those three sections we did um the liquid highlighters not a massive fan to be honest um they well, this one anyway gave a really quite a nice sheen but has separated my foundation down the nose powder highlighters um now We've only used this one, but I was slightly disappointed in the impact of it. Um, it looks in the pan to be a really blinding, really, really um, a kablam highlighter, and it just wasn't at all. It's give again, it's given a nice glow, and it's gone on really nicely. It doesn't, it's not gone KK. It hasn't, it hasn't sunk into any texture on my skin, any pores. Um, trust me, I've got a lot, and yeah again i think that just boils down to personal taste i prefer a really really metallic i say not even i say but a really metallic kind of blinding highlighter there's the word um so yeah again just personal taste and it's it's just not mine but again for holiday it would be really good it's just a bit of a sheen the lipstick um i really like it's really creamy it feels really comfortable it's gone on really nicely it's a nice color don't know i'd call it a universal shade though the brushes um the brushes the brushes um so three out of the five brushes have fallen apart already um the two that didn't fall apart worked really well i'll just say that i'm trying my best people i'm trying my best um so yeah that was my review of the dusk range from primark beauty we got there in the end if you're still with me thank you these are new lashes and I think I need to trim them. <laughs> um, they didn't look too bad when I held them up to my eye, but when I've put them on, they're not quite sitting right in the edges. So I'm going to go and clean my face because I don't think I'm going to keep this on for the rest of the day and trim these ear lashes. And I will be back with another video in a couple of days. Um, but if you can't wait that long, just sit and watch another one. It's all right, nobody's forcing you to, to stop watching YouTube, it's fine. If you haven't subscribed, could you please subscribe? Not all videos are as disastrous as this one. So go and click subscribe and click the notification bell. Go and leave me a comment, let me know what you thought, dare I ask? Um, or just say hello, or just give me a cuddle because I really need one. Um, that was, that was, that was a process. Okay, you go and do all that. Go and subscribe, leave me a comment, share with all your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.